right, here's something to cheer you up. We got Ralphie and Fury. Oh, uh, this is going to be hype. <laughs> this is to determine who fights King Ark. This is loser semis. This is top four, guys. We're the last four competitors, as you know. You know, of course, the Falcon makes it into the top five. Now, a matchup we used to watch all the time was Ralphie has played with Nick C constantly. And they actually just did, like, a fest the other night, too. So, like, they definitely... He knows how to fight Captain Falcon, and we're going to see him exhibit such skill today. Oh, Barry, no straw over. A really great combo starter for Cloud allows him to get tons of damage against Captain Falcon. Cloud has, like, all the tools in the world to make this matchup feel more comfortable than Jari at the cast. Because Falcon just gets away with a lot of things. But Cloud could get away with... <laughs> Criminal activity. My man's in the going first to 45 jail. seconds. Find him. Up air into limit break climb hazard. Is no Killing off zone. the top. You can't be limit climb hazard killing like that. Okay, again, you know, Ralphie is just dancing around Fury's shield. That was a really grim for a stock, and I feel like it's indicative of what this set could end up being. Even though Fury's had a fantastic run tonight. It's got to come to a stop eventually. Oh, That's no. It. That's it. That, what an incredible edge guard come from Ralphie. I don't know about you, but I'm thinking the way that Ralphie's been playing all day today, he is on course to win this thing. I think he'll actually get to grand finals, double reset against Juice. That is like, that, that's my okay. thought right now. Juice sent him to losers, but he could make that run back. I, oh, man. It hurts to guess because it's like new champion on the horizon potentially. But but then Ralphie house coming back. Wins. Yeah, co Ralphie coming back, dude. That's a, that's something I want. I, I want to see uh, literally all four of these players. I want to see win. Like I, that I, would I, be I'm, I'm that yo, guy. I'm that guy. Can we just make yo, them all dark win? horse pick where Fury wins? You know, just do a four player free for all. Oh no, 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 no not that. That's not his timeline. That was yeah. That's that's like college smash tournament rules. Yeah. Oh nice. no, Darkest Timeline is approaching quickly. Nice. Ralphie did 3% and decided, ah, that's enough. That was <laughs> incredible gameplay coming from Ralphie. Got the edge guard coming out of Fury. So what happened there was Ralphie did a jump off the ledge up air, which if he goes onto the stage is safe, or if he has limit, he can spend it to get back to the edge. But neither of those things were true, so he just kind of died. If you short hop into the blast zone, it is unsafe. Yeah. Might have been playing a little bit too much of another game, but whatever. A little bit. Um, now that being said, he uses double jump. I think. Okay, yeah. The Fury's definitely gonna have to go back to the ledge as fast as possible. Fury's like one of the worst players for you to drop a stock that early to as well. Like, uh, Fury has not been in control this entire stock, and yet. Ralphie's still sitting with 73% built up onto him. Yeah, I mean, Falcon hits him a couple times. He's going to rack up a ton of damage, but he got him, caught him swinging. Little bit cross slash coming out with his name on it. Now Fury just needs to not get antsy. Manage his kill confirm, and we're sitting at a game three yeah. potentially. Fury just needs one up air or one grab. A back air could do it. A back air could do it. A back air could do it. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, that was it. a. Let's, let's think of all the ways we can describe that back air. Go. Nice. Uh, it was. It was nice. Well placed. It was well timed. It was indubitably a wunderbar, fantastic, phenomenal, fan, uh, outstanding, majestic. It was alright. It was nice back here. Like right, town and city again, game three. I mean, this is like the favorite stage for you know, this in my is, opinion. I feel like everyone goes here. This is the New York stage. Like everyone always talks about how yeah, Smashville is the, the Smash 4 pick. But this is the stage I feel like has seen the most usage. Because people explode. Yes. Everyone knows you're gonna die. Yeah, everyone knows you're gonna disintegrate. Just hurry up a little bit. We got the sh short hop up airs leading into the giant chain. Didn't have the platform down there to help him out. You try to do something sneaky with that cross up. I'm gonna miss characters being able to run through each other. You're gonna miss what? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's a thing that that is not happening really. I think you'll get used to it. Oh, players will get used to it. It's just it's so strange because it's such a like it's such a viable option with so many characters, especially some characters like Captain Falcon. But can, we, can we talk about how Fury just stood there? He was just like Ralphie, you're gonna swing. He's going for the ultimate. The thing is, Fury had a good idea going for that forward smash because it would have covered three options. But Ralphie knew that that was coming. Catches him with the hilt of his sword and is one stock away from moving on to loser's finals. 
the slide into that shield, not going to work out. Off stage. Falcon up there is good, but not that good. Not able to contest the down air from the cloud. However, without limit, Fury not able to take advantage of the situation. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of uh, down tilts coming out from Ralphie. Kind of unorthodox, honestly. He knows it's going to be a way just to pop them up, just to stop any momentum they have. Even if he doesn't capitalize on it and get himself uh, a combo of his own, he's still curbing anything that his opponent's been able to do. He caught him with the very last hit of down air, or like, that, like it was active for the very last frame. Avoiding that Raptor boost. Ralphie either knew it was coming or was just short hopping for the heck of it. Yeah, I think it's just a matter of him being mobile and it was just a really opportune moment for him. Sitting at that magical percent, will Ralphie close it out? Just trying to apply some shield pressure. Me Methinks a finishing touch could maybe be in order? Nah, well, probably not. I want to see a limit cross slash. Ralphie I just don't want to see Blade beam. Yeah. I think that never works out for Ralphie. It depends. You know, like if he's going to use it as a way to recover, like that, it bought him some time. Even though it didn't connect, it bought him some time to get, grab onto the ledge. But now, he's no limit. Has to go for the ledge. He tried to outspace that as far as possible. But Fury's down tilt was coming with a vengeance. Last stock. Who's going home with fourth place? Fury's got to make these connections count. He reads the roll, tries to turn things around. He's going to go for it, but misses the down tilt. Okay, great read coming from Ralphie. Connects the grab. Fury's going to double jump to escape any sort of follow up. Has him off stage. Limit ready to go. Down tilt. No jump. Go, it's the Trump back, back it, air. It. My boy Ralphie moving on to Losers Finals, taking away Fury. Fury's final Xeno for Smash 4, ending out at fourth place. A very well placed placing at that. He definitely earned his way this far. And he came so close to turning that around on Ralphie, but Ralphie it, just clenched it down. 